Hey guys, this is Ames. Welcome and thank you for clicking on my video. I am at Walgreens for the deal starting on February 27th through March 5th. I do have a digital spend booster of spending 20 or in back $5 in Walgreens cash that I'll stack with a paper spend booster of spending 25 or in back $7 in Walgreens cash. So let's go grab some deals. Select Crest or Oral-B Dental Care is priced at $4. When you buy two, you'll earn back a $4 store coupon register reward. So I picked up the Radiant Whitening Toothbrush for $4. And then I'll pick up a Crest Toothpaste for $4. Together, that will bring my total to $8. I'll use a $2 digital coupon for the toothbrush and a $2 digital coupon for the Crest Toothpaste. That will knock off $4, leaving me to pay $4 out of pocket, earn back a register reward that's a store coupon of $4, it makes it free. But then on Ibotta, when I submit my receipt to Ibotta, I'll get back $0.25 cents for the Crest toothpaste, making this purchase a $0.25 cent moneymaker. This is also a buy deal, so you can use Walgreens Cash to pay. Next, select Colgate Dental Care is priced at $3.99. When you buy two, you'll earn back $4 in Walgreens cash. So I picked up a Colgate toothbrush for $3.99. And then I'll walk over and grab the Colgate mouthwash for $3.99. That will bring my total to $7.98. For the toothbrush, I'll use a $2 digital coupon. For the mouthwash, I'll also use a $2 digital coupon. So that will leave me to pay $3.98 out of pocket, earn back $4 in Walgreens cash, makes these two free and you can also use Walgreens cash to pay for this deal next i'm going to pick up the cascade dishwashing detergent select ones are priced at 5.99 when you buy three you'll earn back a five dollar register reward so as you can see a lot of the items in this store were not tagged when i scanned the platinum and the complete in the app it was showing 5.99 now mind you the app has not been working properly this whole day and I realized after completing the transaction, the complete green bag that I picked up was not included in the deal. You want to pick up one of these three products here, which this pop-up wasn't available in the app when I was in store. So grabbing the correct items, three of these products will bring the total to $17.97. For my scenario, I only have one 50 cent um, insert coupon from the March PNG. I don't really buy too many inserts, so I'll pay 1747. Technically, I should have earned back a $5 register reward if I picked up the right item, making it $12.47 or about $4.15 a pack and throwing it into my spend scenario, I would definitely get it for cheaper, but everything still worked out in the end. Next, I'm going to pick up the 8 ounce Palmolive. It is on sale for 99 cents, and we have a 50 cents digital coupon, making it just 49 cents. Next, I picked up four of the Baby Roof bars. Online, it was showing two for $2.50. However, when I looked at my receipt, I was charged for $1.49 each. So, four of these brought my total to $5.96. But for buying two, swag bugs will give me back 300 swag bugs, and you could do this two times a week. So I max the deal out, so I'll get back a total of 600 swag bugs back, which is six dollars, making this a six cent money maker or free. Now, if it was priced at two for two dollar and fifty cents, you would pay five dollars, get back six dollars from swag bugs, making it a dollar money maker. All right, guys, so all the deals I picked up brought my total to $39.94. I plan to use $10 in Walgreens cash and the $5 store coupon. So deducting $15 from there, I'm like a couple of cents shy from the spend amount, which is $25. So I found this Russell Stover Valentine's Clearance Chocolate for $0.20. Cents. So then that brought my total to $40.14. I'm planning to redeem $10 in Walgreens cash using contactless payment and the store coupon of $5. So that's $15 in store discounts that does not count towards my spend deal, subtracting it from my total of 
14 cents. My new total is $25.14. And my paper spend booster is to spend 25. My digital spend booster is to spend 20. So as long as I reach the highest thresholds, I'll, or I'll be able to earn everything back. So that would be the $25. So $25.14 is perfect. And then in terms of digital coupon or manufacturer coupons I'm using, I have a total of $9 and it does count towards my spend amount. So then if everything works out, which it didn't because I picked up the wrong item, I would have paid $16.14 out of pocket and earned everything back. So working with a paper spend booster, I went to redeem Walgreen cash to help lower my out of pocket. What I need to do is use the contactless payment. So basically opening your Walgreens app in the home page. Typically, you would see the pay in store red button, but as of late, when I'm in the store, it disappears on me. So what you want to do is just click on view details. It will bring you to the next page. Then you click on view my wallet, and then that will bring you to the page where you can select the amount of Walgreens cash you want to use. So for my case, I'm just using $10. I'll select $10 click continue, it generates a barcode, and that's what I'll use for the cashier to scan when they ask me for my phone number. So I'm not gonna type my phone number in, I'll just show them the barcode. Once they scan the barcode, they'll scan all your coupons, your paper spend booster, your store coupons, press another button on their end, all your digital coupons will carry through, and then it will pretty much carry through your whole transaction until you get your receipt and the additional payment that you need to pay will be charged on your credit card. Hey guys, so this is my haul from Walgreens. I had a couple of hiccups, but I have to say luck was definitely on my side and it really worked out. So for instance, um, this Burt's Bee was on clearance for $1.99. I didn't have it in my video. And you guys know that in the March P&G, we have a $2 insert coupon. So I already had a feeling I couldn't use it because I already know this when an item is lower than the price of the coupon in store, the coupon won't go through because it will make it free or, you know, the value of the coupon won't adjust down like it does online. But I took it to the register as a separate transaction and just said to the cashier, hey, this is on clearance for $1.99. I'm not sure if this $2 coupon will go through. Can we just try it out? So when she rung it up, it didn't ring up at $1.99. It rung up at $2.99 and she's like, oh, the $2 coupon went through. But then I looked at the monitor and I'm like, well, I'm not paying a dollar something for it because it should be free, right? So then she changes it to $1.99 and then now the coupon doesn't go through. So then she asked me, do you still want it? I'm like, no, I only wanted it if, you know, the coupon will go through. I mean, unless you're willing to change it to $2 and she's like, sure, I'll change it to $2. So once you change it to $2, the coupon went through. So definitely luck was on my side today so here is the receipt you can see the modification she changed it to two dollars and then the birds b coupon went through no issue so i got this for free which i'm super excited about because my son was running out of toothpaste and i needed some toothpaste so for the rest of the items i pretty much just had it in one transaction because i was lazy this week for the cascade this bag right here is not included in the deal However, when I was in store, the app was not working properly yet. It's working properly now because when I scan the um, items or when I'm looking at the deals, I can actually click on see qualifying items and the qualified items would definitely would list now, but it didn't list when I was in store. So in store, when I just scanned um, this product it was 5.99 so i just assumed it was part of the deal and then same for this the baby roof when i scanned it it's two for 250 and then a dollar 49 if you just purchase one but on my receipt i was charged for a dollar 49 for each so i don't i know the system was definitely not functioning properly today so i'm not even sure if in-store deal if this was supposed to be two for 250 or 149 but anyway um 
like I said, it was a lucky day for me. Everything still worked out for me. So let's go over the receipt. So the Cascade Platinum $11.98, the Colgate Products $3.99, the Crest $4.00, the chocolate 20 cents, pun olive 99 cents, and then the baby roof came up as um, 149 each, so 596, and then the cascade complete was 779. You can see my five dollar store coupon, my paper spend booster, my 50 cents insert coupon went through no issue and then all of my digital coupons went through no issue and then my subtotal is $28.90 so it was I think $2.76 more than what I had initially planned. I did use contactless payment and redeemed $10 in Walgreens cash so I paid $18.90 out of pocket so altogether I spent $33.90 out of pocket. I earned back $21.27 in Walgreens cash. So the $21 in Walgreens cash was the $7 paper spend booster, $5 digital spend booster, the $4 Colgate, and then an additional $5 in Walgreens cash that I wasn't sure where it was coming from. So I called customer service again, and she explained to me that it was a mobile offer that I got a $5 um, Walgreens cash. So I'm not exactly sure where this came from, but I'm, I'm happy about it. But I'm thinking maybe it's the spend five, earn five. Yeah, that's the only like logic sense that makes sense to me. So apparently I got to spend five, earn five somewhere, somehow. But actually, as I'm recording now, there is a new spend five, earn five that um that's a sneak peek for 3-1 so i don't know um i just somehow got 21 dollars back in walgreen cash so when i left the store and i was on my way home i did call customer service because i thought it was overcharged for the cascade and the chocolate bar when i got a hold of an agent i explained to her that the store wasn't tagged when i scanned the items it was showing these prices so she's like okay let me check the internet pricing she came back and she's like, oh yeah, you're overcharged by $2. And the $2 was, she based it on the return va value versus the purchase value, which, you know, at the moment I was driving, I, I didn't pay attention, which is fine because, you know, it's better than nothing. And then once she said that, I was like, well, since this was miscoded, because I thought, honestly thought it was miscoded because she's giving me back the Walgreens cash for the difference of the overcharge, I was like, well, since this was miscoded, I was supposed to get a $5 store coupon that didn't print. Can you credit me that too? And she's like, let me check. And she's like, okay, I'll give you back a total of $7 in Walgreens cash. So I'm like, oh my God, this is awesome. And then I tried to push for her to give me $4 in Walgreens cash for the Oral-B and the Crest because that store coupon didn't print as well. And she just said that, these deals were not included in the deal of the week, which I double checked it is, so I just have to submit to Catalina. And when she said that it wasn't part of the deal of the week, I wasn't upset or anything. She was already super awesome. I wasn't going to push the envelope. So in terms of the rewards I got back, I got back $6 from Swagbucks for the baby roof. That was an instant reward. No issues there. I submitted my receipt to Ibotta, got back $0.25 cents for the crest. Uh, $4 Walgreens cash for the Colgate and then the store coupon for the Crescent Oral-B product didn't print but I'll still count it because I'm going to submit to Catalina um, $5 for the digital spend booster $7 for the paper spend booster $7 in Goodwill adjustment and then the extra $5 in Walgreens cash that's a mystery so in total I got back a total of $38.25 and I spent $33.90. So that was that makes it a $4.35 moneymaker. But then I added the additional 27 cents, so which makes it $4.62 moneymaker haul. All right, guys, that is it for me. Let me know if you guys have any questions or if I was confusing at any point. Um, 
yeah i'll talk to you guys in my next video take care bye bye